the placebo hypothesis. Placebo is widely referred as something that science isn't figured out. You're not exactly sure why and how it works. Some refer to it as magic. We are sure that placebo work, people that take sugar pills, for example, even for major complications are able to heal. It's usually themselves. The funniest thing is that even when we know that it's a placebo, it still might work. I would like to offer a physical solution or hypothesis of how placebo work rather than usually they say that there is some kind of mechanism. That's what I, what usually is the, is the hypothesis is that there is some mechanism of the body to change and heal itself upon knowing or believing. There is the use of the word believe, belief, uh, that you can heal yourself. I would like to offer a different solution or a different hypothesis of how it works. The way it goes is as follows. When we do something or when we take the pill or when we do something to countermeasure whatever is going on, we are changing things or in our brain, we are taking measures. So let's take, let's take the, an example. We have headaches. Now, when we take some measures to counteract that, we take a pill, but this is not the end of it. This is not just the pill. You are more able or you're more probable to do different things in your life and you're more probable to change some behaviors in your life. So again, the, the hypothesis is that you, we are physically changing some things in our behavior. For example, you might drink more. You might be more aware of different things or you might be more aware of your food or you might talk to more people or whatever. So many things that can change your physical life and by that to heal yourself. So in, in, in a different way of saying that is a placebo in some way is kind of a wake up call. And that is kind of the, you can look at it as a snowball that just started. You took and you took the pill and, and there is some following activities or acts you're doing in your life to change it, not consciously, but just the fact that you're acknowledging that you have an issue, you have headaches, or I think even cancer and some, some more, more, much more complicated illnesses where people are able to do something about it. So let's say uh, cancer. So what could be the changes that people add to their life? So they could be more social, which is a known thing to be helping people. They could take their drugs more routinely because many people forget to take their drugs. So there's many little things that you do in your life that by believing, yeah, there's, there is the word of belief. What's the belief do, does? So you believe that this is going to make you feel better. So by believing that that's going to make you feel better, you're changing many little things in your life that each by turn can help you heal yourself. One way, one of the ways to check that, but it'd be really hard is by telling people to change many little things without doing the, without taking the placebo. That obviously is not always work because belief is a strong force or a strong mo motivator because you believing, so you're more, much more likely to actually go about and change all of the things. If you're just gonna tell me, oh, change those hundred things, I'm not as probable to do that without belief. So that where where belief comes in hand. But this is not just the belief itself. This is what the belief cause, or that's what the changes caused by the belief. So physical changes rather than some magical and mysterious causes 
or influencers on our lives. That's the main idea. I hope that makes sense. And thank you.